Good morning, TCC golfers. I'm here with uh, Derek Haley, golf course superintendent, and Samantha Lyons, video videographer extraordinaire. We'd like to just send you a few reminders about our cart rules and local course maintenance guidelines. Uh, you'll see uh, when traveling in your golf cart that we want to return to the pass on the cart pass side of the hole when you reach the green white stakes. Derek, if you demonstrate for us, please. Also, ensure that you're keeping all four tires on the car path. Notice Derek is going to the car path side of the hole, always driving around the back of the green when possible and pulling forward um, and walking backwards. This helps the flow of pace of play. We spent significant time and money in replacing our green surrounds and we want to protect the beautiful turf that we've established in nine of our 18 green surrounds with the other nine being completed later this year. All right, here we are. We're gonna demonstrate on what not to do. All right, so remember when traveling down the fairway, when you reach the green and white stakes, always exit to the car pass sign, not going past the green and white stakes, always having your cart on the path near the tees and the greens. And please remember, at all times, part threes are always car path only. Now we'll demonstrate on what not to do. All right, now you'll find that the golfer has reached uh, the, the green, he's headed up. Please notice that he's got all four tires on the car path. Doesn't shorten your walk by having two tires on and two off and it prevents us from getting rutting and wear near the car pass. So please remember to keep all four tires on your path when near the greens and the tees. All right, folks, now we're gonna demonstrate uh, what we'd like to do and what we'd like to avoid. So as you can see, we've got an area here where folks continually have two wheels off the path. So Derek, if you would show us what we would prefer that you not do. By golfers continually having two tires off their path, it's created this wear mark, becomes unsightly, it's a collection of water, and can also uh, cause excessive mosquitoes. Okay, TCC golfers, now we're gonna review how to properly repair a ball mark. Even if you don't hit the green, it's always a great idea to repair at least one ball mark per green. If each golfer does this, our greens will remain perfect. The single prong divot tool we provide you, go around in a circular motion, pushing straight down and maybe a little inward, but never lifting up as you will uh, rip the roots. And then the little tap down with your putter, like it was never there. A properly repaired ball mark heals itself in 48 hours. A unrepaired ball mark or incorrect ball mark can last as long as 14 days. Keep your greens in great shape and please repair one ball mark per green per golfer. Thanks.